This episode of the Slipcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company located in Cary, Ohio, where they say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. If you missed out on the Mad Canadian this Monday, you can check them again this Sunday at the New Regal Food Truck Fundraiser in downtown New Regal from 2.30 to 5.30. Again, this Sunday, October 24th, from 2.30 to 5.30 to get some of that sweet, sweet, good old Mad Canadian barbecue food. Uh, check out his social media on Facebook and Twitter to find out more information about him and his food truck and where he's going to be. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is a premium small batch roast to order, veteran owned, Ohio based, all fair trade certified, all USDA organic coffee company. Did I, did I hit all the points there, Kyle? Did I miss any of yes, them? Did. You okay. Got it. Uh, holidays are the holidays are in fact coming up. Believe that or not, we're halfway through October. Um, if you have a coffee lover in your life, consider a gift card. You can get a gift card to the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Um, you can also get them uh, what is dubbed the whole shebang, which is a coffee sampler of all of their of all of Iron Bean's uh, coffees, all of their non flavored coffees. It's in the whole shebang. Um, let, you know, sometimes, you know, someone's a coffee snob, but you don't necessarily know, oh, do they want the one that has notes of cedar? Do they want the one that has floral notes or chocolate? No, you don't know. Well, you can get them the whole shebang and they can figure it out for themselves. And then once they know you can ask them and then for their birthday, you can get them the one that they like the most. See guys, we have this all planned out. It's fine. Everything's good. Or like I said, you can just get them a gift card. There are gift cards available. Uh, now if you know which one they want, you can sign them up for subscribe and save service, uh, where they get new coffee sent to them monthly guys. It's, it's all taken care of for that coffee lover in your life. So you can check out all of these things over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is iron bean coffee, America's local coffee roasters. What's up everybody. Hope everyone's having a good week so far. How are you doing, Jared? Uh, got a, got a shoulder neck thing. Shoulder neck thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like a good subscribe and save. I don't do it a lot, uh, mm -hmm. but I do do it for the dog food. So yeah. that's always nice. When it's like new shout dog out, food shows up. Shout out to my hometown's football team. Their kicker, Reese Verhoff, a senior who kicked a, who kicked, who broke his own record which used to be a record in the 1980s, he kicked a 52-yard field goal. And why doesn't he have scholarship offers everywhere yet? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe because he's a Division VI football team. It's probably why. Yeah, that might that, that does not help. Yeah, and, and he can he can he can kick a 70-yarder a too in practice, but that's practice. Right. That's practice. <laughs> but still, but still, that's pretty cool. So, all right, Jared, Very cool. that's enough of that. Let's, let's jump into the episode. Do you want to say his name one more time in case there's yeah. anyone listening? Yeah, it's Reese Verhoff. Go check him out. Columbus Grove High School in Northwest yeah. Ohio. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. How are you doing today, Jared? You just matched my cadence and it, it kind of threw me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> how right, are Kyle, you, Jared? I'm fine. I'm fine. Got a shoulder thing. We're working through it. It's it's all good. Mm -hmm. All right. It is our weekly national review here. Uh, if you miss our episode on Monday, because there is no Ohio State game, we, we gave out some mid-season reviews. We had a good time. Our, our fellow Sloop Cats gave in some great questions, some great mid-season mid um, awards. We had a good time. So go check check that episode out. For sure. But here we go, Jared. Here we go, Jared. We had, um, it seemed like not that very interesting in games. It, very, 
I can't talk. We didn't seem like we had that many interesting games, but man, K, uh, Team Chaos would not let up here on this week. Some close calls and uh, a couple, a couple, uh, three, three. I think what we'll dub official Team Chaos situations. All right, let, let's start from the Big Ten here. Sparty narrowly escapes the Hoosiers, twenty to fifteen. Yeah, uh, Sparty's fake good. It's fine. Like we've been saying it, we'll keep saying it. Um, mm-hmm. Them, Oklahoma State, they're both somehow ranked in the top 10 now. Um, I I don't get it. I don't think either mm. of those teams are that good, but yep. whatever. Their, their day will come. Yep. Minnesota beats Nebraska 30 to 23. Another close loss for Nebraska. They just have a hard time finishing games. Northwestern, Jared. Beat Rutgers twenty-one to seven. That's that surprised four, me. Four straight drops for Rutgers, and like you kind of understood the other three games because like they they started the season real great. Then they they started to walk into that into that mm-hmm. Big Ten East buzzsaw, uh, Penn yep. State, Ohio State, Michigan, and then it's like okay, now they're going to play Northwestern. All right. Great. We're going to play Northwestern now. We're going to get things back on track. And no, no, yeah. it did not. Not well. Not doing too well. Uh, Wisconsin narrowly escapes Army 20 to 14. Not, not, not a good showing for Wisconsin. Not a good showing. Yeah. And like it's uh, it's Army. Like if you go look at the stat lines, you see that like Wisconsin way outgained army and everything else. Um, but it's just army. They limit your opportunities. It's what they do. Uh, yep. so you can't screw up on the opportunities you have, which is just, that's what Wisconsin does this season. Um, they, yep. they, they find unique ways to lose football games. Yep. All right. And the big game, everyone was talking about Purdue beating Iowa 24 to seven. And, this is just a recurring thing here. If you're ranked number two, don't play Purdue out of don't play Purdue on a, in October. Can can we officially like we have like Clemsoning is a thing, um, Sparty No is a thing. We need to, uh, Purdueing. Purdueing is losing to Purdue when you're ranked in the top five or ten, and they're not. <laughs> As I. Purdue is like Pitt. They have that, they have that super weapon. They're just a team that is really good at creating these upsets. They're incredibly good at creating these upsets. Uh, It's, it's, it's beyond, it's beyond coincidence at this point. Uh, They're, they're just, they're very good at this. Ohio state's been on the butt end of this before um, and not, not just the most recent one. Um, not that Ohio State maybe was, they definitely weren't number two when it happened. Uh, it happened to Trestle once is, is basically what I think I'm trying to get at. But yeah, it's don't, don't, don't you just don't play Purdue. Never play Purdue. Yeah. Crazy, but Kyle, crazy. the bottom line here is that Iowa, Iowa got purdue I, I wish I kept this. I wish I kept this. There were there was a great we do play them, stat. Buckeye Zach. There's a great stat about uh, total wins of uh, like history, like versus like wins versus um, top two opponents. Uh, specifically, top, number two. Uh, yes, yeah, spe- Purdue has I think the all time record for being unranked and having wins over the number. It's a very obscure stat. They they were talking about it during the broadcast. Mm-hmm. Purdue has more wins as an unranked team over the number two ranked team than anyone else in the country by far. Yeah, I wish I could find this. Yeah, well, it's like in the top two, like it was like the top, um, there was like five teams and Ohio State was like tied for first. I think it was like with Notre Dame for 17 wins versus number one and number two teams. But then down there in fourth or fifth was Purdue. You're like, but do what? Yeah, but Purdue owns the record for doing it while being unranked. Yes. All right, Kyle. So uh, that that's the Big Ten. 
let's uh let's pull the chart out. Uh let's adjust any Big Ten folk that need adjusted. Let me adjust the uh the zoom window so that everyone can continue to see me, because God forbid people not be able to see me. Now, here we are. Let me move that live chat. Get those guys nice and front and center and make it big even. How about that? There we go. All right. So we talked about the Big Ten, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, not in action. Iowa State loses. Kyle, do we drop them to B? Yeah, you drop it into B right now. Their offense is just not not that good this year. Yeah, just and, not good. And quite frankly, I don't think they're I think one of the things that Purdue proved. One of the things I was watching in this game and I was just like, because Purdue has some talent at the wide receiver position, some athletes at wide receiver. And my question was, what will Iowa do? What can Iowa do against athletes at the wide receiver position? And the answer was not great. Yeah. Agreed. All right. Oregon, Jared. Are we keeping uh, well, Oregon? I want to. I want to do. I want to do the Big Tens real oh, quick. Okay. Um, okay. Sparty. Sparty. I think you stays. keep them where they're. At. They stay where they're at. Indiana, Indiana stays. Nebraska, uh, Minnesota stays where they're at. Nebraska, maybe consider moving them down to E. Uh, yes. Sure. Sure. I'm. I'm fine with that. They're just. They're losing. But man, they. They could easily be a ranked team. If if they end up winning those close games, there. all they have to do is win some games, and they'd be ranked. Yes, Rutgers. Um, a D is D is still fine for them. Okay. All right, and Northwestern. You want to bump Northwestern up to E or keep them at F? Didn't they lose to an FCS school this year? I believe they did. Yeah, no, that's you. You don't leave F if you lose to an FCS school. You go right. to F and you stay there. All right. Purdue. Do you move Buckeye Purdue Zach is just handing out F's over here like someone's playing Call of Duty. <laughs> Purdue. Do we move Purdue up to C or keep them at D? As a steward. Um, let's move them up to C. Okay. All right. I'm fine with that. And Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin oh boy. absolutely has to come down at this point. Yeah, I think you move them down to D. Right, they now. were barely holding on to C as was, and then you beat was you beat Army by six points. Yeah. Yep. All right. I think that's all the Big Ten teams here. So we got some we got some teams that we kind of moved off yeah, to the Stuart, side here. They they were they were C, but they were yeah barely holding right. on. So all the teams that that's on the left side of your screen there, they are. Just going to stay where they're at there. So the Georgias, the Cincinnati's, the the um, everybody, Alabama's, everybody else, Coastal Carolinas, the, the, all stay there on the left side. So the teams on the right, we're going to talk about today. Oregon, yeah. Oregon narrowly escapes California twenty-four to seventeen here. Does Oregon it's, still stay with the A the A tier here? Uh, they only have one loss here. They do have. Arguably one of the best wins in college football right now against Ohio State. Do you keep yeah. them in the A tier? I think you kind of, I mean, yeah, but man, they almost lost to Cal and Cal is currently in our F tier. That's where Cal is for, for comparison, for reference. What they've won one game this year. Is that right? Um, it's there there's there's reason to potentially move them down to to B, but I don't think I want to. Yeah, I keep them at A. They're at the very tail end of A, like what Wisconsin yeah. was with the C. Yeah. Oregon's at the very tail end of A there. So I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, but they're on notice. They're on notice. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Moving down the list. Kentucky here. Kentucky just got blown out by Georgia 30 to 13 never really thought too highly of Kentucky. I think, I think you move them down to the C tier. Is that, that's their first loss. Um, it's a respectable showing against Georgia. 
I mean, the the gap was bigger than the final score indicates, I think. Um, yeah. yeah. I want to keep him at B for now. All right, fine. I think they lose not- again before the end of the season anyway. Then we can bump them down. All right. I'm not going to argue with you on that one. <laughs> okay. Arizona State here. Um, we can hear Arizona State losing to Utah 35 to 21. Yeah. Um yeah. <laughs> they 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 got they got pretty handled here. Yeah. Um, drop them. You drop them. Okay. Drop them. All right. Is is Florida Buck in here? He is not. Ah. Uh, what are we doing with Florida here? Florida. Uh, oh, Austin. To... Austin's the one that likes Florida. <laughs> Austin actually requested. This is from a resident. Uh, he, Florida's his second team. He's currently going to UF. Uh, he'll graduate from there here soon. He requested, Kyle, that we drop them down to M tier. Um, that was his <laughs> request. I, I, I'm i not going to do it. We're, we're saving M tier for something special. I don't know what that is yet, but they're definitely going down to C. Yep. Keep them down at C there. Agreed. Oklahoma, finding ways to win and win ugly. But did they win ugly this this time? Um, I, I thought they played but, a really yeah. good game. I think it, that they look 10 times better now versus like they, they made the I I've been saying it for weeks. If they just played the right quarterback, maybe they'd be a solid Oklahoma yeah. team again. If you let me finish it until they started the right quarterback. <laughs> Sorry. Until they started the right quarterback. I think you move them back into the A tier. I honestly I agree. think you move you move Oklahoma to the A tier. They are a they very look like scary, a playoff team again. They look like a playoff team offensively right now. Yes. Well, I mean, their defense has always been their defense, and really, by by Oklahoma standards, by Oklahoma standards, their defense is not bad. Yep. Okay. All right. Um. So that's S A B here. So we'll get into the the rest of the group after a little quick ad break here, Jared. For sure. All why right, you, Kyle. Why don't you the head us off here. Bean Coffee Company, as I was saying, the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Kyle, let's let's throw it up on the screen here. Here's the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Uh, I'm gonna leave that chat inlay right there because I don't feel like moving it. Uh, let's see. What do we want to look at? We can look at the integrity. Uh, the integrity is the mainstay of their selection. Uh, it's rich. Uh, it's rich and dark and screaming, do not go gentle into that good night. And as I always say, this is their recommended espresso blend. But since I, since we're full screen right now, let's let's do something a little bit different. Uh, let's look at the whole shebang. We talk about the whole shebang a lot. I brought it up during the initial ad read uh, as a thing you could get for a gift for a, a loved one, a, a coffee lover in your life. Um you get Iron Bean Coffee's core roast in a uh, in a single bag. There, they're two and a half ounce packets, and it comes with twelve different coffees: the Fear No Evil, the Fierce, the Integrity, the Drink from the Skull of Your Enemy, the Odin, the Dark Rocco, the Thor, the Medium Rocco, the Ride or Die, the Cast Iron, the Rage Against the Dying, the Light, and the Loki. All of that for twenty five bucks. All that that's that's a gift bag right there. Gotta like that that that'll stock the entire stuffing. Stock the entire that would oh boy. Pause. Pause. That would Kyle, I'm oh my god, my brain just seized. Kyle, Iron Bean Coffee Company is the Iron Bean Coffee dot com. Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. I, I totally for, my my brain, I I missed a gear on that one, Kyle. This episode is also brought to you by the Man Kid Hating Barbecue Company. Mentioned to you where he's going to be at again this Sunday, at the um, downtown New Regal from two thirty to five thirty again this Sunday. Let's hear from a um a review here from the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company customer. 
It says here, this is the best food truck around, hands down. Barbecue is smoked right there on location and is always fresh that day. The brisket and pork is never dry and always full flavors that melt in your mouth. The sides are also made that day and are absolutely phenomenal. The crew, the owner and crew are top notch and so are their beards and very friendly. I highly recommend giving them a try. Well, go go check out go check them out. We've been talking about it for months now. So why wait? Go go down to um, New Regal this Sunday, two thirty to five thirty, and get yourself some good old barbecue food from the Mad Canadian Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. All right, Kyle. All right, we got the uh, <laughs> we got we got the social screen back up. All right, the C tier here, screen, Jared. The, the chart. I can't. I can't words today. Kyle. Well, let, let me let me take let me take let me take you it take here. Over. I can't. I'm, I'm all right. Done. I'm out of words. <laughs> Baylor and BYU. Those are the next ones here. Baylor beats BYU 38 to 24. Yeah. Um, BYU was never actually that good. Uh, this does get Boise ranked again. Excuse me. Baylor. This does get Baylor ranked again. Uh, just proving that there's, there's just not a lot. There's not a lot of good teams left to occupy yeah. like 15 to 25. So, I'd, I'd keep Baylor in the C, move BYU down to the D. Uh, I will uh, I will second that. Mm -hmm. North Carolina State. Yeah. Well, here 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 we go. North Carolina State. Do you keep them at C here? Yeah. Or do you move them up to the B tier? What's their what? Who, who's their best wins? Uh, let me look it up. Look it up, Kyle. Look it up. So they have, well, Jared, their best one is against Clemson. Is it? <laughs> Clemson is Let's currently see. dogged to pit. So they, they've beat USF. Uh, um, wow. I'm drawing a blank as well. Uh, Furman, Clemson, uh, Louisiana Tech, and Boston. And their losses against Mississippi State. Yeah, um, I tell you what, Kyle. If we move them up to B, we also are moving Wake Forest up to B. So that's your call. But if we move one, we have to move them both. All right, we'll keep them at C for this okay. week. But we're, okay, we're going to keep an eye. We're going to keep an eye on them. We're going to keep an eye on them. Boston College, Jared. They they lost to NC State this week here. It's it's I, time to yeah. I, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Going down to the D tier. All right, Kyle. They're not in our they're not in our picks because I, I don't I don't think I don't know if they played this week or not. But we need to talk about Pitt again. I would once again like to say that we need to move them up. All right, you move them up. I mean, they're listen. C tier is where we put our one loss but unimpressive ACC teams. This is this is where we have Pitt. This is where we have NC State. Well, well, this is yep. where we have Wake Forest. All right, all right, fine. I'm fine with that then. Oklahoma State, Jared. Man, I just I think they're fake good, but I also think Sparty's fake good. But so I, I do think it's probably time to move them up to B. I I agree. Yep. As much as I kind of don't agree with it, I agree. All right, uh, Arkansas. Man, they, the, the, the chat, the chat is not happy with that maneuver. Oh, well, they, they mean, don't like it. It's an undefeated team. <laughs> Gangland's not hearing it. He he says, "Who cares?" Hey, I, no, listen. At, uh, guess at least what? I don't, at least I don't have team. At least I don't have top teams ranked. Like in the bottom of the twenty of the top twenty five. Yeah, it's it it is what it is. OK, State loses to Sparty by forty. Ah. Uh, oh man, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What about Arkansas though? Moving on, Arkansas, Jared. They lost again. What's that bring their record to? Uh, is that three losses? Yeah, four and three. 
Uh, it can move him down to D. That's even starting to feel a little bit generous at this point, though. Yeah, I, I put him down to D. I put him down to D there. All right, and then that leaves us with Auburn, who is five and 5-2, ranked again here, who beat Arkansas, who was ranked and not ranked now. So it just seems like that they just keep flip-flopping yeah. SEC teams in, in and out here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. So I I guess move him up to C. I don't really feel mm. too confident about that, but who who are their wins against? Um Akron. Okay. Alabama State. Okay. Georgia State. Okay. And LSU and Arkansas. I don't want to move them up. Their best win is against Arkansas. Who's in the D tier. Okay. All right. Keep them there then. I'm just, I, Bo Nix is a disaster. Um, I just, I don't, I don't care about Auburn at all. All right. Save the last one here, Jared. This orange T here. I'm not talking about Texas. Man, I always, yeah. I, so, so Jared, we, we save a special place for the M tier. We save a special place for the M tier. Yeah, you lose. You you get your. I wasn't. I wasn't even going here. I had no idea Kyle was about to say that. And uh, not only do you lose, your you best lose, win. Your best your best win is your best win is against South Carolina, who's terrible. They Wait, just, just that South needs to be said. They, they, they have wins against South Carolina. Missouri, Tennessee Tech, and Bowling Green. Kyle, we should move them down to the M tier simply because they bought they brought m- full, big mustard bottles to the stadium with them. And golf gotta, balls. And golf and, balls. The only reason you bring a golf ball to a football game is to throw it. Like, that's premeditation. My, my lawyer's not currently in the chat, but that's premeditation. I they they uh they they go down to M tier for that, not just losing, but that whole display. It's your quarterback who snaps the ball with three seconds left in the game, and proceeds to run out of bounds, and that's how you end the game. Is your quarterback running out of bounds? That's almost that's your fans almost getting your team forfeited because you're throwing shit on the field. That's. We've been reserving M tier for a special occasion. I think Tennessee just earned it. Joe Mixon. I'm sure. And I know all the fans are, excuse me, Milton. Thank you. Joe Milton. I know Ohio state fans are well aware of him. (laughs) Oh my God. That was one of the most boneheaded plays I've ever seen in my life. Gosh, like it's one thing to throw things on the field, but it's another throwing them Onto your cheerleaders, onto the the band too. Like, what yeah. are you thinking? What are you thinking? Yeah, it's it's a it's a complete embarrassment. Also, who brings a full mustard bottle into <laughs> a football stadium? I don't even. Right. Ohio State wouldn't let it. I don't know what kind of security they have down in in Tennessee, but you think you could get a whole full size bottle bottle of mustard into the horseshoe? You can't. That's a security violation. There you go. That's it. That's that's all of that. Uh were there any other games you wanted to discuss that happened over the weekend? Um, um let me let me look at the the game Alabama, here. Alabama did what Alabama should do. Uh, Cincinnati did what Cincinnati should do. Yep. Uh, let's see. Not, a, not a lot happened this weekend. Uh, Team Chaos feasted three times. Um, Iowa yeah, went we, down. Yeah, Arizona we co- State we cover- went down. And yeah, we of covered course, all, all of the other games. BYU went down. 
Who won the right, sleep picks have... this week? Nomad asks. Ah, oh, good question. I believe he's in our chat, and his name is Gangland. Did he, yeah, he had a. He's claiming he a, to have a seven and zero. Yeah, he did. He did have a seven zero. I'm looking at it right now. He went seven for seven. Uh, cousin Jay and Brawly went six for seven. Uh, Buck, I beat myself in Jimmy Snacks. Went five for seven. And five Jared for seven. Yes, and Jared. Yeah, you got. I got you, four. You, you, you got four. Listen, it's fine. I'm 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 riding consistency. I haven't had a seven and zero like some people, but I haven't had. I also haven't had like an zero and seven like some people. I'm riding my weeks consistently, consistently getting four or five every week. It's a long term strategy. It'll be fine. Except for one. Except you had a three uh, in there. Just, just, I went that three and four that one time. So just want to let everybody know. Yeah. That I'm beating Jared by two. It's not excuses, Nomad. It's a strategy. It's calm and consistent growth. That's what it is. All right, I'm just going to put. It's this having in the a chat system there. and sticking to it. I'm just going to put that in the chat there. You can put it in the chat. It's fine. All right. All right. We do have a question here. I got to go back to my notes here. Buckeye Esquire asks: Does the switch from Rattler to Williams make Oklahoma a legitimate playoff team slash national threat to the Buckeyes? And the answer is yes. Uh, yeah, they're absolutely a playoff team now. Where I was just sitting around waiting for them to lose. But now with Williams at the helm at quarterback, I think that they're Oklahoma again. You know, and, and everything that go, and all the good and bad that goes with being Oklahoma. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we're still talking about a team who's never won a playoff game, despite going on several occasions. But they're also a team that has gone to the playoffs on several occasions. There aren't a lot of teams, by the way, who have gone to the playoffs. There's even fewer teams that have actually won a playoff game. Oklahoma, in the former, but not the latter. Or, I said that wrong, but it's fine. Um, no, I didn't. I think I said that right. It, you know what? We're, we're still we're moving forward. Um, yeah, I, I think Oklahoma is Oklahoma again with Williams at the helm. I think uh, Rattler was holding them back something terribly. Yep. All right. That is all the questions, Jared. I'll look at looking at next week here. Uh, should have had this up. Apologize. So week eight. Week eight. I think there's some interesting games here looking looking ahead here. Uh, let me look down here. I think Oklahoma State and Iowa State could be an interesting game. We talked about Clemson and Pittsburgh. Yeah, uh, uh, it's it's uh, a pretty terrible week overall. Yes, it is. I'm not, I mean, I'm we not, had Ohio really, State not, back, so that's nice. But it's 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 a pretty lackluster week in general. Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's not that good of a week. It's no, not. it's it's bad. It's very bad. Well, we're we're in like prime bye week territory now. So there's just a whole lot of teams just not even playing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Team chaos for the week. Team chaos for the week. I think keep an eye on that Iowa State game. I think Iowa State could upset Oklahoma State. I think it's possible. Yeah. I really don't really see anything else. I don't I don't expect anything from USC to try to beat Notre Dame. I it's not the 80s anymore. That game holds no significance to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll cover this up in our Friday episode here. So, catch us back this Thursday as we cover the Ohio State um game and then the and then Friday we will be Talking about the national review. Yes, sir. So uh, th that's it. That's that's us wrapping up the episode. Um, Kyle, 
want to encourage everyone to uh, just come hang out in the Discord server. That's it. That's that's the entire plug. Come hang out in our Discord server. Download the app to your phone or go to the website. Uh, you can join by going to discord.thesloopcast.com. Um, it's, it's just a, it's a big fun group chat. That's all, that's all you really need to know. It's if you, if you're just, if you're tired of Twitter and you're tired of social media and you want to hang out with some people who want to talk about college football in a appropriately moderated, not toxic politics free zone, come hang out. Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Uh, it was a good weekend for the city of columbus yes it this was past weekend we had what well, was it technically the weekend but i'm going to count it team usa came in and got a much needed win for their world cup qualifiers at lower.com stadium the crew got a 4-0 victory over miami and the columbus blue jackets won over the weekend starting off 2-0 for the season yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah, it was a the who and what stadium? Lower dot com stadium, <laughs> home of the Columbus Crew soccer team. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you throw a soccer team on man? End of that. At least they're not FC. I I don't I don't want them being SC either. Yeah. All right. That's it, Jared. That's all I got for today. Kyle, uh, on this, is it Friday or Saturday? Hold on. When's, when's the 23rd? What day? 20th, is That's a 23rd Saturday. 23rd is Saturday. This Saturday, if you're not watching college football, which you probably will be, but if you're not, I uh, want to encourage everyone to go check out the Sonder Bombs. Uh, they will be at, what is it, the Big Room Bar? Uh, which is down in the brewery district in Columbus. They will be at the big room bar uh, this Saturday. Uh, you can go check them out. We're about to play a Sonder Bombs song for you now. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, that is. If you're listening on or watching on YouTube, uh, there'll be a link down in the description where you can go listen to that song for yourself because YouTube doesn't let us play music. So, with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is the Sonderbombs. <laughs>